One of the things that I found interesting about the Arcos 5 Android was two ebook readers that you could pick up. And the great thing about them was that you could adjust the font. And so I thought, hmm, you know, how does the iP uh, how does the iPod Touch handle with this sort of thing? Well, I found two apps, one of which is the Amazon Kindle for the iPod Touch or iPhone. And um unfortunately, it needs me to register. So, I'm not going to be able to take a look at that at this time. However, there was another one that caught my eye that actually I like even better. I may I'm I think I might dump um the Kindle, depending on how this one turns out, and it's called Stanza. Let's go back to the main screen here. Oop. This is a book that came with it. There were actually two books that came with it. One was an introduction and the other was a copy of Alice in Wonderland. The stanza allows you to, and we take a look here, um, you know what, let me turn down the brightness because otherwise it's going to be hard to see, so give me a second. I should remember to do this before the beginning of these videos, but eh, live and learn. So, give me a second. I think that got it. Now then. That's better. Let's go ahead and tap stanza. Go back in. These are tips that come up. Every time you start up the application you get, to, you get yourself a little tip. So let's tap dismiss. And if we take a look here, you can do shared books, you can download books. Um, it's just a whole plethora of things that you can do. And you have a nifty little library here with last read titles and such. Let's go up here to settings because I want you to see something that I really love about this. Oops. What do we got here? Oh. I only downloaded this like five minutes before I started. And when I saw the feature that I'm about to show you, I loved that I, I just had to make a video. Um, We'll go ahead and stanza help. And or stanza settings, excuse me. And let's see, where is it? Oh, I get oh, um hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back into the book. Um, I think I probably have to access this particular setting within the book. So let's go back into Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. What do we got here? Oh, I tapped the sort books by mistake. Let's keep the title sort. Go in. There we go. Now you see here the font's nice and big. Watch what happens when I tap. Um, let's see where is that? There it is. If I tap settings here, see that up there? We get night theme. And then here is a slider for us to adjust our font size. I can't tell you what the maximum is because it doesn't give numbers. But if you can see that there, let me put it on the biggest we can possibly make it. If I go into font size here. Oh, that slider wasn't visible, but anyway. That 
That's as big as it goes. Okay? And this is a free download. Now some of you might be saying, well this is cool, but I'm a voiceover user. How does this work with voiceover? That I'm going to have to, uh, hmm, I'll need to experiment. Um, if I can somehow locate an iPod Touch or get permission from the guy in the Apple Store to download Stanza onto the iPod Touch on display, turn on voiceover and try it out. Otherwise, you guys are going to have to wait until I can until I manage to get one, which I think I'm going to put it on my Christmas list. So if you can hold out for a few months if I don't get a chance to do it beforehand. But for low vision users, Stanza is fantastic because it does it gives you high contrast, which is that night mode, and it gives you the free it gives you um, the font size, and it's all free. Not all the books are free. Because there are some that you do have to purchase. Again, if we take a look here, we have an online catalog. Let's go into shared books. And it did this last time too. It was searching and searching and it... it um, I wonder how long I want to give it. You know what, I'm not going to bother with that. But, um, this is basically how it organizes things. We've got titles, authors, uh, subjects, latest reads, um, you get an online catalog, shared books, which we just saw, and anything you've downloaded will be here. Let's try hitting this plus button because I haven't done that yet. What do we got here? Enter collection. Oh! It looks to me like you can go ahead and add something like a shortcut to a specific title or something. I'll have to try that. But this is Stanza. This is one of many ebook readers available in the App Store. And this is this is free. Okay, I know some of the uh some of the uh software like there were a couple of book readers there that were a couple of bucks. This one is free and this is the only one that I've found so far that allows me to adjust font. What I would like to see is um and anybody who out there is who, who is a developer that might be watching this um here's my suggestion. We developed something like this, except as a, as a textbook repository for students with the ability to tap and highlight. And not only that, if you needed to copy something, say, into notes um, and just copy it onto the notepad or maybe integrate with an office suite like QuickOffice. And, and, and that would make reading a lot easier, I think. That was uh, one of the major drawbacks of the Amazon Kindle by students at uh, Stanford, or uh, was it Stanford that was running the pilot project? There was a major university running a pilot project of the uh, Amazon Kindle on its campuses, and it was ma a major f uh, failure. And a lot of the students, the main complaint was lack of convenience when taking notes because they'd have to retype everything and there was no way to highlight stuff. So I'm thinking if we could get something where not only can we highlight stuff, but we can also copy and paste it into, say, like I said, the notepad that comes with the iPod or iPhone or a third-party application like QuickOffice. I'd be all for that. And again, you know, you incorporate the fonts, uh, font adjustment, that, again, all for that. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. Insults against me will get you blocked. And have a nice day.